hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm just about to cook with my mother-in-law and i thought i would film for you guys what we're cooking because it's one of my favorites again favorite turkish um dishes is it turkish yeah okay it's turkish um the first time i had it i just love like loved it so much so i thought why not um it's a little bit harder to make than lamajan but it's a favorite so i just thought i'd show you guys and you can use alternatives but i'll show you what i mean I'm here with my mother-in-law again hi cooking with my mother-in-law how cute of us <laughs> this dish is called dolma it's dry eggplant is that what it means yeah dry eggplant oh. So to get our hands on this dried eggplant was no joke a mission. This stuff is like precious. <laughs> but you can also do this recipe with the fresh eggplant. Fresh eggplant and zucchini. Zucchini, yeah. So if you guys don't have dried eggplant, which I'm sure probably a lot of you guys won't, don't worry. Try this with something else. But I'm going to show you what. You need dried eggplant or normal eggplant or zucchini and obviously like um with taking out what's in the middle so like take out the inside <laughs> it's already done here and you've just soaked this in water hey yeah just cold water soaked it in and just um got it ready and okay, what else do we need it's half a kilo of minced meat you can use lamb diced meat too if you like. Oh, yum. Just cut it little, little, it suits it too. But we've got this, so we're going to use that. Make do with what's in the fridge. <laughs> That's right. Anything simple. About four or five tomatoes. Yeah. A little bit of rice. Yeah. Uh, tomato paste, tomato um, capsicum, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. And just one lemon. How easy. And after it cooks, you just crush garlic and... Uh, mint oh. after it cooks and you just garnish like on top yum i'm getting really hungry <laughs> the only thing that you guys probably don't have like i said is these and funny thing is um so your sister-in-law posted these <laughs> from sydney um to my husband's cousin's wife yeah and she gave them to me because she um i told her i was craving dolma and so she said, I've got extra from, <laughs> from Sydney. So that's how we got these. Seriously, precious cargo right here. About a cup of rice. Yeah, the inside was like that. About oh. half, one and a half I put. So Whoa. Enough. I'm going to show so right in the bowl. One teaspoon. Oh, no, not a teaspoon of capsicum paste. Yep. And one teaspoon of tomato paste. A little bit of pepper. Look how big this pepper thing is. <laughs> Love it. Never ending pepper. <laughs> no, no, I've had this for months. It's so good. I'm going to have to get it. Shopping every minute. Um, salt. A good amount of salt. Yeah. Yes, honey. Okay, this honey. One lemon in it. One lemon. And you can put lemon salt too, but we got fresh lemon, so. Mm. And you fill it in. About like a little, like a little, how, how much would you say like that? When you put your finger in it. Three quarters, I reckon. Yeah. You can leave it empty. Three quarters. So it won't um, explode because mm. the rice like goes expand. Yeah, so obviously when you cook the rice, guys, going to expand so we don't want them exploding I'm gonna help wash my hands and when you put it in like you put it side by side like inside like this oh yeah. I have to show you guys because this is like a very key thing I feel like a road like you put mm. And some people they put vine legs in it, like we don't have it, so we just put do it like that. So oh yeah, up. so you fill it. See how she's leaving some space, so that when it expands, it's like not going like, to explode. Yeah, like this when you you know it's right. And then add it to the conga line. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. 
I'll tell you what, it's so smart how it's going in like this. Mm -hmm. I would have not guessed that. Okay, look, I'm going to go grab Gabriel, guys, and he's going to... Oh, yes, Miss Alita. <laughs> go get him. to go with this. Judge it is it. Yeah. yeah. Salad if you like. I judge it goes really nice in that. Yeah, the yogurt. It suits it. Because you wouldn't really do rice on the side. No. Because it's so really got rice in it. Say hi. Hey, look at him. Look at his teeth. Say hi. <laughs> Aliyah goes, bring him to his abla. Let's tell everyone how we met the first time we met. And first impressions. <laughs> and you don't have to be nice because I'm standing here. You can tell the truth. I won't get I said, upset. this is beautiful girl. <laughs> really? Oh, my <laughs> son's <laughs> new girlfriend. Really? Well, not really. You don't have to just say it. Yeah, of course. Is that enough or is that too much? No, that's perfect. Oh, I don't want to wreck perfect. this. So the actual first time I met you, mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to remember. The second time I think it was in Queensland. Oh my gosh, I'm having like a memory blank. <laughs> oh, I remember the first time I met you. I was like so nervous because I was like, meeting Rehan as well. Cause <laughs> All the family, yeah? His little sister and she was like a teen. You know how her sisters are, like over their brothers. Protective. And I was just like nervous meeting everyone like all at once. Big family. Yeah. <laughs> So it was nerve wracking, but everyone was so nice and sweet. So yeah, I feel like we all got along like pretty well, right? No drums, which is good. It's actually funny. It was like the week end of meeting you. We all went um, like for a drive to Nelson's Bay and we didn't realize that it was like a public holiday or like some kind of, yeah, I remember Something that. was on and all the hotels were booked out, sold out, all of them. There was something on, I forget what it was. And so we ended up camping like in the car. Luckily it was like a big car, had like a big boot. And a little tent. <laughs> and a tent. And I was like camping with his mum and his sister like as soon as I met them. Like up close and personal straight away. But it was good. It was fun. I feel like we bonded. It was fun. All the family was there. Yeah. And then a few years later, Aaliyah, Ooh. and then Gabriel, and now this baby. Do you um, want Emra to marry a Turkish girl? <laughs> or you don't really mind? Because we live in Australia, like, we can't say. You can't. Like, yeah. it's like they grow up here. And as long as they're good people, it doesn't matter what country you are, what race you are. Yeah. As long as they're good people. So I feel like um, when you grow up together, you go to school together, like you Mama work somewhere, you meet someone, Mama can't carry. Mama can't carry. Yeah. So it's never like a dream of yours to marry <laughs> a nice, wholesome Turkish girl? As long as they're good girls. <laughs> I'm like the modern housewife. Wow. Do you reckon? Of course. Like with the kids and work and... Yeah, trying to like, life. yeah, trying We're to balance trying everything. No, good on you. But it's an everyday balance. But Emery's so cruisy. I'm so lucky. You are too, like both of you are too He's so easy good. Going, like easy going people. I'm the one that's like wanting to cook and like do the housewife stuff, and he's like just order food or let's go out to dinner. Like he's, he's very easy. Going. He's so easy. You going. are too. So I'm really lucky I don't have a husband that's like... You gotta come tonight! <laughs> oh, I could not deal with that. And work and kids. Oh my gosh. It's not nah. too much. Emma's like too crazy. But that's like you and um, Baba. You guys are too crazy. <laughs> what do we have for dinner, guys? Whatever! I'm like... 
<laughs> okay, so go complain. with the flow. We're gonna complain. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, I'd rather, rather have for whatever we have. I'd rather have crazy in-laws than the opposite. Hey guys, what this looks like? <gasps> Amazing. And so, what's the next okay. step? We did pretty good. There's only two I'm left over. Hmm. Eh? Something heavy. Uh, this will do. Mm. This will do. And something else like on top. Mm. Oh, so this makes sure it doesn't like all float yeah. everywhere. Like a little bit heavy in this, like you put mm. on top. So it won't go everywhere. Yeah. What can we put? My sister-in-law, they usually get from Turkey like a stone, like from, made from clay. Oh. But we don't have it. We use what we have. Yep. <laughs> boiled or not boiled? No, just cold water. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put cold water. And how long does that usually cook for? Um, you're gonna look like slow as but uh, maybe half an hour. Oh my gosh! Yeah, we'll look if it's cooked because it's already the outside of the bag. That is amazing. Let's show. So you just took the plate off, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you put some garlic. What else was there? And dry mint. And dry mint. Yum, that smells amazing. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when you chop it. In half. You guys inside. Look at this. D. Delicious. Nene. 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 And I like to put a little bit of yogurt next to mine and like salad, but I'm just gonna have a little bite just to see how it turned out. Let's go for it. Amazing. I love this dish. Daddy. Yes. Ma. Ma. <laughs> you want more too? You want some? Turkish Ma. boy? No. Yes or no? No. So thanks for watching guys. And we'll put all the ingredients in the bio below description. Say bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Debbie. No? He's ready to cook. <laughs>